Today I want to take a few minutes and talk about business policy. The SD-WAN Edge currently has the ability to recognize over 3,700 of the most commonly used applications, and those applications are identified as they pass through the SD-WAN Edge. Business policy is the mechanism that we use to define how those applications get treated from an SD-WAN and transport perspective. There's two different places that business policies can be defined, at the profile level or at the edge level. The profile level is a template that pushes down uh, the same rules to any edges that are assigned to that profile. So let's have a quick look at business policy here. This is the quick start profile. This is what comes by default with uh, every SD-WAN Enterprise activation. So you can see here what we've got is we've taken those 3,700 or so applications that we recognize and then we've uh, put them in buckets or default rules, what we call our smart defaults, based on common types. And then each one of these common types or each one of these smart defaults gets a certain treatment based on the type of application that they are. This is great from a customer perspective because it doesn't require the customer to have explicit knowledge of all the different application traffic types that are running at a location, nor does it require them to pre-configure any business policy rules. They can run with these default business policies out of the box, get explicit visibility into what applications are running at a branch location, and then if necessary, they can customize or edit the existing business policies to fit their requirements. Existing business policies can be edited. So you can come to this screen, uh, you can change the match criteria, um, you can change what action gets taken. And what this will do is this will edit the existing smart default for um, all the edges that use this profile. Alternatively, you can add custom rules. So you have the ability to come in here, define match criteria in terms of source or destination um, information, basically five tuple matching, or you can match on specific application types as well. Once you have the match criteria identified, then you can specify actions. Actions allow you to set the essentially the QoS uh, ranking of the traffic. You can set it to high, normal, or low priority, and you can also specify the service class as real-time, transactional, or bulk, which affects how our dynamic multipath optimization uh, handles that traffic. From a, you can you can enable rate limiting. Um, you can put a bandwidth limit on that particular traffic. And you can also choose the network service, direct multipath or internet backhaul, which is out of the scope of this discussion. But basically direct means to send it direct over the WAN interface and multipath means to send it using SD-WAN overlays. The business policy list or the smart default list here functions uh, very similarly to an ACL from a router perspective. Um, these can be rearranged and essentially what happens is when a flow or a packet comes in, the application gets identified and then a match is attempted to be made with the existing business policies based on that application type. Once a match is found, um, the matching process exit and that particular action uh, is applied to that traffic. Looking a bit more closely at the business policies as they're uh, instantiated on my SD-WAN Edge in my lab, you can see here that I've got some rules, all the smart default rules that have been pushed down from the profile. I have the ability to view the rules here, but I don't have the ability to edit them. If I needed to edit these, I'd edit these at the profile level. What I've done here also is I've created uh, a couple of custom business policies. They're termed edge overrides in the, uh, in the user interface. But you can see here I've got a couple of them, like this one, for example. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm matching a secure shell, for example, and specifying uh, in the action tab that that traffic gets sent direct instead of being put over uh, an SD-WAN uh, tunnel interface. That's just a quick example of uh, your custom business policy rule that you can put. And since this is defined at the edge level, it's only in scope for my particular edge. If I wanted that rule to be in scope for all the edges that use this particular profile, I would write a custom business profile or a custom business policy at the profile level and that would get pushed down to all the edges that use that profile. Finally, one of the things I wanted to touch on real quickly, jumping back to the profile level and business policy, is if you scroll down, um, you've got SD-WAN traffic class and weight mapping. This is what we call our 3x3 QoS metric, uh, matrix. So you can see we've got real-time transactional and bulk traffic, 
and then high uh, normal and low priority traffic. And this is where we define um, the the minimum uh, percentage of bandwidth that each traffic type is going to get on the SD-WAN overlay. You can also change um, how much traffic um, is gets put on the SD-WAN overlay. For example, if you wanted to rate limit traffic in terms of percentage of link bandwidth or rate in uh, megabits per second, you can specify that here as well. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.